Hi, I'm going to show you how a biconvex or uh, also called a converging lens works. So let's say we have five parallel light rays coming in and hitting this biconvex lens. And what happens is because the index of refraction out here outside the lens is different than the uh, index of refraction of the lens itself, the light will bend when it encounters this new medium. So um, let's just draw an approximation here. So we have, uh, we draw a line that's uh, perpendicular to the surface. That's the convention for how we uh, use Snell's law of refraction. And so because the index of refraction outside is smaller than it is inside, we're going to have a bend towards the dotted line that I've drawn. So it will bend down just a little bit and then it will hit the lens on the other side, okay? So just obeying Snell's law, the angle changes just a little bit as it encounters a new medium. Okay, now when it hits the other side, it obeys Snell's law once again. So I draw a perpendicular to that surface, and then this angle compared to the angle on the other side uh, is gonna be smaller, because inside has to have a smaller angle than outside where the index of refraction is smaller. So it's gonna bend down again. So we have something like that, okay? So obeying Snell's law twice, I have a trajectory that looks something like this. Now, of course, it'll depend on the exact curvature of the lens. It'll depend on what this lens is made out of, but this is basically what will happen. And then if we watch all five of these rays obey Snell's law, they might do something like this. And then this one, which hits dead on, is just gonna have a zero degree angle the whole time. And then this one is going to obey Snell's law twice and bend up twice. This one's gonna obey Snell's law twice, Snell's law twice and bend up twice as well, and it's going to bend even more. Okay, so um, what we end up with for a properly constructed lens is that all of the parallel rays that come in and hit this lens will converge to a single point, and that point is called the focal point. And the distance between the center of that lens and the uh, focal point is called the focal length. And we would use the symbol uh, F for that. And by convention for a biconvex or converging lens, that focal length ha is defined to, ha uh, defined to be positive. So that's what you would be using in, uh, in all of your equations. Okay, so that's how you uh, deal with a um, biconvex lens conceptually and how to uh, think about its focal length. Um, so what we'll do later is we'll uh, show how to use a biconvex lens when the rays aren't coming in parallel and we'll see what happens with that. Okay, thanks for watching.